Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the NKJV Spurgeon and the Psalms. It's part of the McLaren series from Thomas Nelson. All right, I've got a cool one for us today. This is a unique little Psalter, essentially, called Spurgeon in the Psalms. It's a copy of the Psalms in the New King James Version with devotionals from Charles Spurgeon, one of the most legendary preachers the world has ever known. Really cool project. It's part of the McLaren series from Thomas Nelson, which is a, a series of Bibles that they've been doing. They're just really thoughtfully put together, kind of with preaching in mind for sure. But this is a beautiful edition of the Psalms, and I love that it includes devotional content from Spurgeon. So it's a great way if you're if you're doing a Psalms reading plan, you're trying to read a Psalm a day, that sort of thing. It's a really cool resource to have at your fingertips beautifully designed, really easy to read. It's got some devotional thoughts, and then this, the text of the Psalms itself. Really, really nice, looks great. It's, it's very simple and clean, but it's, it's got a nice attention to detail on the design. I think they did a really great job with this one, so I'm excited to show it to you. Before we dive in, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is the NKJV Spurgeon and the Psalms from Thomas Nelson. Okay, let's take a closer look. First, you have this little slipcase here. It says NKJV Spurgeon in the Psalms. It is part of the Thomas Nelson McLaren series. This is the brown leather soft edition. This is just like a little cardboard kind of slipcase, but you could use this to protect the, the psalm book itself. So there's that. And then here you have it. This is the brown leather soft, nice marbled brown look. I really like the way that looks. It's got the perimeter stitch around the outside, this little gold emblem on there on the spine looks really good in gold spurgeon and the psalms the nkjv logo and the thomas nelson logo real small there very very nice look and feel to this one i think it has a nice texture a nice touch it's soft and it's floppy it's obviously very small it's just a small book so as far as size goes it's five and a half inches wide at the text block it's eight and a half inches tall and by my measurements with the cover it's like right at like a half inch thick. So again, brown or black leather soft editions. I do like the marbled look of this brown one quite a bit. You do get some gilded page edges in there. Looks nice. These beautiful end sheets that kind of have that mountain scene, which looks really good. A single, this is a kind of a tealish colored ribbon, but it's a double-sided satin ribbon. So looks nice. It looks like it's going to hold up pretty well. Now opening this up, presentation page, Spurgeon and Psalms. Here's your copyright page with all the information in there. The NKJV Comfort Print Typeface designed by 2K Denmark. This is printed in India, you see down there. So the material here you can see is from the um, Treasury of David, an original exposition of the Book of Psalms by Charles Spurgeon. So gives you a little table of contents for all your different psalms. You get your preface to the King James Version. You get a preface from the um, that book by C Charles Spurgeon in there, right there, and then you get into the Book of Psalms. So here's an introduction here to the entire thing. So you're going to get, this is once we get into the actual text. Book 1, Psalm 1, they have these teal accents. It matches that teal ribbon on the page. So Book 1, Psalm 1 through 41 there is in teal, the title, The Way of Righteous and the End of the Ungodly. That's all right there in teal. And then you have accents, the, the drop cap there as well as the verse numbers in teal. So right here, this is the little devotional piece from Spurgeon. So it's a paragraph format right there. And then you get the verse by verse uh, poetic setting of the text in a single column going through. So for a Psalm like Psalm one, that is only six verses, you get on, it starts on the right page, blank page. They're all gonna start on the right page. I like that, it just keeps it consistent. So it starts on the right page. If it gets longer than that, it's gonna go to the second page, but if not, it's gonna be a blank page to go over there. So it's got some wide margins in here, a little bit over an inch of wide margins on the page. You do get your footnotes and your cross references and everything down here at the bottom of the page as well. So if you wanna do a little bit of studying with this, you can do that. Again, pretty much straightforward at this point. Spurgeon up top, the text of the Psalm. Here you have an example of one that goes to the back page and then you go straight through. It's very consistent. I flipped through this several times. I read several different Psalms from it and it, it's, 
easy to read, easy to use, it's a nice little Psalter. I, I think I would say that my one critique of this, you can kind of see right here, even on where the text is, I wish the paper was slightly more opaque because it's text on text, single column. You want to really be able to immerse yourself in the text. So that would be my only downside of this one is that I wish it was just a little bit more opaque. But honestly, as I sit here staring at it, that's not super distractive. You know, the, the, the ghosting on the other side of the page is not super distracting to me. So um, I think it looks good. I love the NKJV comfort print typeface. Oh, I didn't tell you it's a nine and a half point type. So let me just bring this up here for you. Nine and a half point type. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Psalm 95, when you get to the end here, get to the end of Psalm 150, and they did give us a bunch of note pages here, so Psalm 150 ends here. Praise the Lord, page 351. And then we get some notes here, just blank pages for notes. If you wanted to take some notes and not write in the wide margins that they give you, you could take notes in the margins. I imagine this would be a really great little book to, to jot down your notes as you're reading the Psalms and just be able to return to it. Um, reading through the Psalms multiple times a year, that sort of thing. But uh, overall, really great, easy to read, nice little compact design, and the added factor of those uh, Spurgeon devotional thoughts kind of really sets it apart. So there you have it, the NKJV Spurgeon and the Psalms from Thomas Nelson. Great little combo devotional slash psalm book. I, I really like this. It feels great in hand. It looks nice. It's easy to use. Something you can just sit next to your Bible, do your morning devotions with, that sort of thing. Looks really, really great. If you have any questions about this, leave those in the comments and I will get back to you with an answer. I'm going to put links in the video description to where you can purchase one of these and learn more about it if you want to check that out. I'm also going to put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook where I've posted some great photos of the NKJV Spurgeon and the Psalms. So come along, social media, follow along, and check those things out. Before you go, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. You can find more great content like this, Bible reviews, unboxing videos, lots of fun Bible-related content right here on my YouTube channel. So having a really great time. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.